Welcome back everybody. CBS 46 is working to get results tonight in DeKalb County. Homeowners there, they are complaining and coping with at least a dozen major sewage spills over last week after last week's storms. It's a problem we have reported, told you about this before, and we want to know tonight what's being done to fix it. Yep, that's why we sent out CBS 46's Haley Mason. She has been talking to homeowners where the spills have happened, as well as environmental advocates and DeKalb County leaders. What are they telling you, Haley? Sean and Tom, as we are live in the Oakhurst community in Decatur, a historic community where this water source behind me has been com compromised by nearly 87,000 gallons of raw sewage. It's just one of several major sewage spills in a few days here in DeKalb. This is video of raw sewage bubbling out of a manhole and into a neighborhood creek in Tucker. A homeowner recorded it during Friday's storms and sent it to CBS 46. This was one of a dozen scenes across DeKalb County neighborhoods seeping in raw sewage. It's not a pleasant thought. Penn well, Clark lives side. in the Oakhurst community in Decatur. These yellow signs warn he and his neighbors that sewage has spilled near their homes and into Sugar Creek. If they obviously know there's something wrong with this, they, sh they should be working on it. And raw sewage in our river is never good. What it does is it has a lot of ecological impacts, harms wildlife and affects dissolved oxygen levels, but it's also a public health threat. DeKalb County says the spills are caused by rainwater, which overwhelms their older pipe system. We saw sewer spills across Metro Atlanta as a result of these heavy rains. Uh, a lot of those did happen in DeKalb County where we have aging pipes, uh, limited capacity within those pipes. DeKalb officials tell us there were 12 spills in total. Eight were major, meaning they dumped 10,000 gallons of sewage or more. My colleague Adam Murphy talked to DeKalb CEO Michael Thurman today about the sewage issues. But what you see in DeKalb, unfortunately, was that we failed to maintain our infrastructure. Thurman admits the county's issues have stemmed from poor maintenance and a lack of repairs over the years. DeKalb signed a consent decree with the Environmental Protection Agency in 2011, forcing the county to act, but progress has been slow. Well, that's just another one of the projects we've gotten back on track. I'm very confident now about where we are. Even though they say they're flushable. Now, the spills totaled, we did the math, more than 413,000 gallons of raw sewage in raw sources across the county and creeks and rivers as well. Now, I talked to officials, environmentalists, who say they want to have the public help them in this situation. Don't dump oil or grease in your sinks. Don't even dump ice cream, they say. And those flushable wipes, they say those really don't break down. Don't flush those. They've been posting these signs all around the county, uh, warning neighbors that there has been a sewage spill, though the county says they have disinfected these areas. Reporting live in Decatur, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.